Tucker Carlson recently interviewed Daryl Cooper, who, according to Carlson, was undertaking the most forbidden project of all, reinterpreting World War II. Carlson referred to Cooper as, quote, the most important popular historian working in the United States today, end of quote. According to Carlson, Winston Churchill, not Adolf Hitler, was the chief villain of the Second World War. Cooper further stated that Jews did not die as a result of intentional genocide, but ended up dead because Germany did not have enough food to feed them. The Trump fanboy Elon Musk said the interview was, quote, very interesting, end of quote, and, quote, worth watching, end of quote. Carlson gave Cooper an uncritical treatment, as he does all the wing nuts he has on this uh, podcast, refusing to per- push back on Cooper's Holocaust claims, which is to be expected from Carlson. Carlson even endorsed the statements made by Cooper. Carlson, quote, people can certainly take issue with any factual claims you are making. I assume they're all right. They're consistent with what I think I know to be true, end of quote. Cooper claims that the criticisms of his views were, quote, totally mendacious, end of quote. As far as I can tell, Cooper has a high school education and simply calls himself a historian. I could not find any disclosures made by him about his educational background, but did find a reference that he was in the Navy when he was 20 years old. Back in 2016, the publisher of the neo-Nazi website, The Daily Stormer, Andrew Anglin, said that Tucker Carlson, quote, is literally our greatest ally, end of quote. It is not surprising that Carlson appeals strongly to so many Trump supporters. Carlson is also one of Putin's useful idiots. The U.S. is littered with them, unfortunately. 